Hey y'all, out here at uh, Cool Colors to uh, see my buddy Jeff, and uh, he's got a uh, 70 CUDA project he's ready to uh, kick off, and uh, I really like the last CUDA he built, so I'm excited to see this one. We're going to be able to catch this one from the car, basically coming into the shop. We'll see the car that he starts with all the way through the project till it's uh, uh, over. So anyways, let me run Jeff down. I'll have him uh, tell us a little more about it. Jeff, how are you, brother? Good, Scott. How you doing? Not too bad, man. Tell me what you... Uh, what are you going to do to this car? This car is a good looking car. Yeah, it is a good car to start with. Uh, uh, we're going to take it and pretty much cut it up, make it what the guy wants. Uh, he wants a, we're going to put a full frame under it. Uh, like an Art Morrison or something? Art Morrison or, or uh, we're thinking about going with a Swartz frame on this one. Right. And uh, it's going to go like 335, 30s by 20s on the back. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a street machine. 18s on the front. Yeah. It's going to 572 Hemi. Holy cow. With fuel injection. Uh, we're going to put the throttle body. Fuel injection. 572 Hemi in it where yeah. it can uh, still look like the old motor. Yeah. Instead of looking like the new motor. That's the way to go. Yeah. What, are you going to put a four barrel, two four barrels on it? Uh, we're going to go with a solid throttle body right, right. now. Okay. Fuel injection by right. MSD. All right. And, uh. Prestige Engines out of uh, Motorsports out of North Carolina is building the motor for it. Okay. It's supposed to be 700 horses. Great. They're going to send a dyno sheet with it. Yeah, they're going to send a dyno sheet. Uh, so what So what? What happened here? This. Uh, where'd you get this guy at? How'd, you, how'd he find out about you? Through you. Really? Yeah, he seen one of the last Cuda that I've done here. He's seen it on your your uh, YouTube there. And, yeah. Uh, um, when he seen it, uh, he said, I want that guy right there to build me a Cuda for him. And, uh, oh, so yes. I, I'll grant to you on this one. This is all to you. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he knows what he wants. Uh, he's a real good guy. Name's Chris Elder. Cool. Where's he at? Arkansas? Arkansas? Yeah. And uh, Man, it's a nice car. He just wants a good four-length car. Uh, it's a good car, a great car to start with. One of the best ones I ever had to start with. I don't ever it's see really like this. It's really kind of a shame to tear this apart, but... Yeah. You know, uh, we might any find another car to start with on this, and if we can, uh, but yeah. if not, if anybody needs any uh, 70 Cuda parts, uh, it's going to be a lot for sale right here. What are y'all going to do with it? I mean, are you going to massage your body at all? What do you? What do you got? Any renderings of it? What's your plan? All the glass is going to be uh, uh, butt, butted up. Okay. With no chrome. All right. Uh, the car is going to matte gray. Oh, okay. It's going with. Uh, uh, Steve Holcomb, of course, all leather interior. Awesome. Uh, full console with the full bucket seats in the back. All which right. we're going to be tubbing it to get them. Uh, them, them tires about 13 and a half inches wide. Holy smokes. So we're going 13 and a half inch wide tires on the back. Uh, uh, Swartz told me it's going, uh, they're going to put like a 355 posi in it. It'll be four link, four link system. Right. All cool overs, front and rear. Uh, this is going to be cool. How long do you think it's going to take you to build it? I hope to have it done by the first of the year. Really? Yeah, I hope to have it uh, at the first show there at the first of the year. We're going to put uh, full tail lights. We're going to make our tail lights come over and uh, just kind of do it away. Kind of give it the new car look, but still the old car. I got you. You know, we're going to bring our tail lights over to almost the license plate. All right. Uh, they're going to be full LED. Oh, man. Uh, we're going to do the back end. Put the pan under it and all. Something like the Corvettes, you know, and kind of leave it open like. Oh, really? You know, and make that uh, stainless gas tank and everything nice where you can see under it. Oh, no kidding. Uh, so it's going to have a real, a real, uh, I don't know, rough's not the word I'm looking for, but a, um, a real race look to it, I guess. Aggressive, aggressive. That's yeah, what I'm that's thinking. What he yeah. wants an old car that handles like a new car. Sure, everybody and, does, yeah. Um, but he wants the horsepower to do whatever he wants to do, so it's going with the six-speed. Right. Uh, automatic, though. He oh, wants okay. six-speed automatic. Paddle shift? Yeah, paddle shift. I'm going to have paddle shift on the column there. I love that. What about center exhaust? Tell me you're putting that in. Uh, we ain't going to go through the gas tank like we did no. the other one. He no. this full gas tank, so we're going to bring them out the side. Okay. Uh, that looks cool, too, and they and they used to do that. So, you know, that's kind of a throwback, too. Well, there'll still be 
kind of out the pan like in the back. Right. Uh, but it's going to be a three-inch exhaust all the way out like we did that. Okay, so. cool. Well, man, I'm excited. I am really excited about this. I'm glad that, you know. We're going to double headlight it and everything else. We want really? double headlights. Uh, he wants the double headlight. He don't like the, the single big headlight. Right. Uh, like square or round? It's going to be round. 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 Just like the same. Yeah, it's going to be slammed like down to the ground, too. Yeah, it's going to yeah. be slammed down there. Right. got to have them low. Right, yeah, yeah. Them, so, yeah. All right. You're wasting your money if you don't get yeah. it down there. We're going to 20s and 18s on it. You know, probably 28 inch tall tire or so in the back. Right. So, yeah. Then, of course, all the reason on here will be gone. We'll let Steve do his magic on that. Right. And, uh, I, uh, yeah, I, I can't wait, though, brother. We'll yeah. fully redo all under. All that's going to be smoothed hood. out, hide all the wires, out. all that kind of yeah, stuff. because i got to cut the frame out of it and go all the way back to subframe. It's going to, like I said, a full frame. It's going to be a full frame under the car. Yeah. And uh, This dude's going to have a cool car, man. Yeah, he's going to have a real nice car. He's going to have a lot of sleepless nights between now and the end of the year. <laughs> Wait I would think, yeah. 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 We might even change the hood on it. Um, I like that new style, or the old style hood, but, you know, that comes down. Hey, shut that for me. Let me get it sing. Yeah, no. I know it's a pretty looking car. It is a good looking right? car, man. <laughs> it's a true 383 car. All right. Might even be numbers matching. It might be. Uh, yeah. We haven't checked into it that far to see if it is. Uh, Rebuilt. It isn't been that long since that paint's been on it. No, and the motor's, I know the motor's new. Right. They're newly rebuilt. Holy cow. Well, uh, brother, I'm excited about it, man. I'm going to have to keep up on this one. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to get you down here when we get the frame and everything yeah, set up. Yeah, like you're right. Like we want it set up where we can show you everything. Yeah, we want to get the, want to get the underneath shot while we can do that. We want to do that, too, because I'm sure you're going to do it, finish that all, smooth all that, oh, yeah. yeah, color it and everything. Yeah, we want it as slick underneath as it's on, on top. the top. Cool. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's why... I, it's going to be gray underneath with a black frame. We're going to stay with the black frame because it's going to have stainless exhaust all the way out and everything. Then we're going to have our stainless four link. And we can put some red shocks or something up underneath there? Uh, it's going to have red um, bare brakes, the 14-inch okay. bare brakes. Right. Uh, with the wear, uh, bare red calipers. Uh, and uh, we're going to go with a shot of red probably. I don't know. We'll leave that up to Steve right. interior red to... Something, yeah, something, yeah. yeah, yeah, I got you. He likes that red caliper sticking out. No, everybody does. Yeah. Yeah, no, everybody does. And with that gray, gray with red, it'll look real good. No, it's going to look awesome, man. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be one we're going to have to put a name on. Then the motor's going to be all satin black, pretty much. Right. Uh, all the serpentine system, everything will be black. So. Cool. Well, brother, I'm excited. I can't wait. I can't either. <laughs> Appreciate you coming down here and shooting this for No us. problem, man. Thanks for inviting me. You're welcome. Folks, there you go. 70 CUDA project coming from uh, Cool Colors out here in Clinton, Tennessee. It's going to be a cool one. I'll keep you, uh, keep you informed on what's going on. But anyways, hope you've enjoyed it. See you.